Hey everyone, welcome to our tasting of the distiller's drawer for the spring of 2020. Typically, we would be with you in person at the distillery, face-to-face, -face, really sharing what we're experiencing and what you guys are tasting and hearing all of your feedback face-to-face -face. and most importantly, watching your face um, when you have that first taste, which tells us so much about um, our rum and, and how you guys feel about it. So I'm really sad to not be sharing that time together right now, but instead we're gonna go through a virtual tasting um, of how I would technically taste these spirits um, and how we would discuss it with you face-to-face -face at the distillery if you were there with us at the distiller's drawer release. I wanna thank you guys all for your patience and understanding um, as we figure out this new world and how things are gonna work um, and how to share with you. So welcome to all and any feedback um, for that as well. So in our tasting order, uh, the first one we're gonna start with is the Les Alliances. Um, that's French for Alliance. And this is a cognac cask finished rum. You can tell I'm the distiller because I have my lab sample <laughs> right here with me. Um, so this distillate is all queen share distillate. It's all queen share distillate that was so unique um, and so distinctive. We didn't want to just put it under the plain queen share label. We really wanted to do something special with it. So we took three of our barrels of queen share. Um, two of them were two years and nine months old, aged in um, our own used casks. And then another one, the third one was aged in new oak for three years and six months. So the average age is around three years, but it is a blend of those different ages. So those three different casks were brought together and finished in a very large cognac cask. Um, you know, in cognac, they use these very large scale barrels. So for us to have those three barrels with evaporation over a number of years, all three could be blended together and put in one a uh, final cognac cask um, to be finished. Um, the distillates were made by both me and our distiller, Peter Newsom. And for people who don't know, um, we're married. Uh, we've been married almost a decade <laughs> and we're both distillers and we distill together at Privateer. And so um, it was very sweet that um, Peter tasted these casks and selected them and married them together. And then it was his brother, Dylan, who tasted it and said we should name it something like the Alliance or something for the fact that we as a married distilling team married our spirits together and made something really special out of it. So I thought that was really sweet. Um, <laughs> it's 111.2 um, proof. Um, and because it's a blend of three casks, there are 507 bottles. Um, so yeah, let's give it a taste. It's this gorgeous, I really love this beautiful coppery amber color. Um, you know, it shows me that it's got some rich oak spice to it, but also it's not going to be like very hardcore full throttle oak. Um, so I kind of like that. Because all of our color is natural, you can tell that. Uh, we don't artificially color any of our rums. Um, so yeah. I always like to pay attention to, can I smell it as I'm starting to pour it? You know, I love when, um, and I can, I can smell it from here. I love when someone pours a rum and then I walk into the room and I can smell the rum in the room. Um, so yeah, I can, I can smell it from here, which is really nice. And it's very floral and delicate and honey and golden raisin and dried hay, which for me are always kind of that signs of cognac. Um, like that poached apple that when you touch it with a spoon, it just kind of falls apart. Lots of brown butter, toasted brown sugar. And there's like a nuttiness, like a meaty nut, like a, like a macadamia. And to give you guys a heads up, I have not tasted these since they've been bottled. So it's been a number of weeks since I've had them. So I wanted to give you guys an authentic experience of me tasting it for the first time in a while. 
and it's the finish is really evolving. I can taste it on my breath as I'm talking. That's something that's important to me. Right when it hits the palate, I'm getting a lot of dried pineapple, pineapple peel, um, sort of those chewy pineapple rings, um, and a little bit of like peaches and honey, but it's not sweet. It's like um, very botanical, like when you fresh pick a peach and smell right at the stem, but like with a little bit of like sort of that apiary beehive kind of smell to it, raw honey. Um, yeah, a little bit of like that brulee grapefruit with brown sugar on it. And there's an earthiness too. There's a real earthiness, um, like a golden fresh leather smell instead of like a worn leather smell, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, there's something like, um, like forest floor kind of hay, kind of dried grassiness to it um, that I really, really like. And yeah, just this like toasted coconut black vanilla bean finish. That's something I love that the French oak finish gives is this very botanical black vanilla bean, not this artificial vanilla pastry or vanilla cake, um, you know, sheet cake. It, it's much more black vanilla bean, um, that dark kind of leathery pod smell. Uh, reminds me of when I worked at a spice house. And yeah, some like little hint of clove is coming up now like clove over a poached pear and, and yeah, that sultana golden raisin um, kind of earthiness. So the alcohol is really well integrated. Um, I'm really enjoying that. And yeah, it's just very textural, very luscious, very rich, um, but lots of golden flavor. When I think of, I often think in colors of the flavor, it's got a lot of golden flavor to it. So that's my tasting of the Les Alliances. Um, Please, uh, if you, you know, got this bottle and you have any thoughts or feelings, or even if you want to, like, I know this sounds silly, but even if you want to videotape yourself tasting it and share it with us on social media or in a message, we love to see people's faces uh, when they taste the rum for the first time, but feel free to leave comments. Um, and we'd love to know what you think and feel and your feedback on the rum is. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers.